Hello, everyone. Uh, I forgot I have to unmute myself on Restream. Fun times. Uh, hello, everyone, and welcome to another Friday night. What's so old? Uh, if you're watching this live, welcome. Thank you for being a channel member and joining me on my uh, bi-weekly little what's old show where I go over my sales from the previous two weeks. So we're covering the period of uh, September 21st to October 4th. And spoiler alert, I didn't sell a whole lot. So this will be a really, really quick stream uh, and less for me to edit after and put on my um, channel for everybody else to watch. So yeah, didn't sell a whole lot. This was all stuff that I went over in the previous what sold. Uh, the first item that I sold in this two week period was this uh, Adidas striped floral little um, like cinch waist type of lightweight sweatshirt. This came from my own closet. I had bought this on Crossmark at some point for myself because I was looking for one of those like nice Adidas floral sweaters. This is not quite that, um, because the ones that I was looking at, they're just super expensive, and I'm not going to wear that just for something I think is cute, um, and wouldn't get a ton of wear out of it. I didn't get a lot of wear out of this one, so I sold it on Poshmark for $15. Uh, I did put my post cost of goods as zero, because I had worn it a bunch of times, and then decided it just wasn't for me, um, as it didn't fit right, and then had listed it. So yeah, I had money into it initially, but for items like that, I usually just uh, log them as zero cost of goods, uh, and I make a profit of $12. Then I sold a Banana Republic uh, wool and cashmere jacket and a size extra large. Uh, very nice. Um, debated keeping this for myself, but then decided to list it because uh, I just, I knew I have several jackets and I just wouldn't get wear out of this specific one. I also just don't like the upkeep that comes with wool and cashmere items. Um, this ended up for se selling for just $25 on eBay. That was an offer I received. I had it listed for $40. I decided to just accept it because I had been making so few sales the weeks prior. Um, so I kind of just accepted not all offers I got in that two week period, but most. Uh, I had a dollar fifty into it from the bins, and my profit is eighteen dollars and sixty six cents. So I was happy with that sale. I was also happy with the next sale, but unfortunately, spoiler alert, this one is coming back to me uh, and will be for sale again. It's a dress by Aster the label. And it's a wrap dress. I got it from the bins, so I don't have a ton of money into this. Uh, it did sell for $35, and I would have made a profit of $28 um, on eBay, but it's coming back to me. The person said it didn't, didn't fit them, um, which is odd for a wrap dress, but I'm guessing, you know, whatever. It, I don't, there's no need for me to speculate about whether or not it actually fit them or not. Um, it's just coming back to me. So, out of my very uh, humble earnings for this two-week period, I will later have to take out those $28, relist it, and then it will no longer show up in my sales history. It does right now because I always wait until I have received the item back and relisted it um, to take it out of there. So it's still in there, but yeah, I made even less than uh, I, will, I will share later on here at the end. Um, then I sold a <laughs> another black item, it's just dark color items. I don't know if it's fall and we're all, because it's going to be fall and we're all gloomy and that they're selling, but I'm not mad at it. This one was a vintage win layers. It's almost impossible to read this tag on, in the picture. It was a little bit easier uh, in person. I could read the size and everything. It's a textured vintage blouse and this one sold for 28 which I think was full price um, on eBay. My cost of goods was $3 on this one. I would not have picked this up at the thrift or even the bins, but it was in a fabrics and textiles box that I got from ThreadUp. So um, I make a profit of $20 and six cents. Uh, then I made another Poshmark sale on this pair of Time and True. Yes, that's a Walmart brand. Um, wide leg, kind of like gaucho jeans. They were like a little bit cropped um, in a size 12 uh, were high rise. These came from a ThreadUp denim box. I had $1.80 into them. They sold for 12 on Poshmark, which is honestly fair for a a Walmart brand, um, Walmart pair of jeans. They were cute. That's why I listed them. I had another pair that was the same, just in a lighter color. And that one sold as well, also in that price range, I think. Uh, so I make $7.25 on these. Uh, this was all before 
Poshmark changed their fee structure. I may or may not talk about that at the end of this live. <laughs> haven't decided i'm very disillusioned with reselling right now so um i, I don't know if i want to invest more energy into discussing why poshmark is annoying in their ways um so anyway uh another sale where i just accepted a low offer because i wanted to see the item gone because i've had it for over a year uh, i picked up these steve men uh kind of barbie vibe uh heels when the barbie movie was uh in in still in the theaters um because I thought they would sell as part of that Barbie core uh, trend, but they didn't. And so somebody offered me 18 on eBay and I just took it. I did have almost four bucks into these, uh, unfortunately. So I only make $10.13. But that's, uh, that's life. And, you know, I probably would not pick these up again, Barbie core or not. Another offer I received on eBay was on this uh, vintage Jaeger uh, silk scarf. I think this one's also silk. Yeah, I picked up a bunch of silk scarves, some designer, some just like a good vintage brand uh, scarves at the bins like a while ago at the beginning of the year um, or end of last year. And uh, yeah, they have been selling. I think this is might be the last one to sell. It's over 25. Uh, that was an offer I received. My cost of goods was a dollar. I make $19.90 on this one and uh, that was a good flip. I was very happy with that. And it wasn't an item that took up a lot of space because it's a very thin lightweight silk scarf. So that was good. Uh, another low offer sale on this pair of Zaya Active uh, leggings in a size zero. I normally would sell Zaya for more than 15, but I also have had a hard time moving uh, their items. Uh, not just lately, honestly, always. I think I found them when the, like, Zaya craze was on its way out, maybe. Um, so 15 for this one is not super great, but it's a size zero, and I got them from the bins, so that's okay. I still make a profit of $10.50 after fees and all that on a Poshmark, and yeah, they're out of my house, uh, and I, I wasn't picky with sales in this past a uh, two-week period. Um, and then a sale a sale I just made earlier today on an item I just showed recently in a haul. So quick flip on this one. Very unlikely for this brand. It's like a Coles house brand, Sonoma. Um, and I normally would never pick it up, but this was a cute item. And it's some sort, like, it's not a collab. It's just they are like, I think they're like younger junior-ish line, maybe. Um, it's this olive green boiler suit uh, that originally had a belt but didn't come with it uh, at the bins. Maybe it did, and I just didn't find it. I don't know. Um, this one sold today on Poshmark for $22, and this was my first and so far only item to sell under Poshmark's new fee structure which in this case worked out for me because I did make a little bit more than what I would have what I would have made otherwise I think previously on a $22 sale my fee would have been like $4.40 um and Vendu still has that in there so I have to manually now put in my fee so that's fun love that not at all uh, I had $2 into it my fees under the new uh, fee structure are $3.67 and I'll make a profit of $16.33 do I like the new Poshmark fee structure? I absolutely do not. And it's less so um, because it's it's less so because it's like it's it doesn't really matter as much to me whether I make a little bit more or a little bit less. I mean it matters in the grand scheme of things, but that's not what pisses me off about it. Um, I what pisses me off about it that is the way they communicated the change, uh, which was very sloppy and very unprofessional in my opinion, um, to let people know like a day before it changes and then not even let them know initially via email, but put it on a feed that nobody looks at, um, and then leave it basically to resellers on social media to break down what exactly that means. That's don't do that. Don't be like that. Uh, so that annoyed me. And then just the mere fact that they're selling it as uh, this is going to make things simpler and better and everybody profits more, which no, 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 it's not simpler. You can ask anyone who's looking at this new structure and just goes like, what the hell? It's a whole lot of math and a whole lot of unknown factors that now affect my sales. And as a buyer that that affect how much I'm paying for the item. So that's already annoying. Um, and yeah, so to, to sell it like that and then to be like, oh, you get to keep more of your earnings, marginally more. It's so little. It's not worth 
the change. And the only people who are profiting off of this change are the people at Poshmark. And I think it's just, it's just shitty to do that and to package it as a, everybody wins. Like, no, you're winning. You're the only ones who are winning and you're pissed off. That's how it is. So those are my two very, very brief cents on the whole Poshmark thing. Uh, we can chat about it more on another live when I'm doing Relist and Relax next week, maybe. Um, if we also care by then. But let's look at my very, uh, very modest numbers for the past two weeks. Um, which again, since I have an item coming back to me, and she did actually ship it back already, uh, will be even lower than this. So before applying, uh, the cost of the return, I had a total revenue of $195, even. Interesting. Uh, and a total profit of $142.83, but take out the $28 I made on that dress or would have made on that dress that drops down to a hundred and something. <laughs> I can't math right now. 114, something like that. I think, uh, don't fact check me on that <laughs> or do it's fine. I'm not going to calculate that right now, but yeah, it's, it's even lower than that. So Really not a great two week period. I sold only nine items. I only listed nine items. Um, my average sales price went down and, uh, look at that. I made the most sales out of those very few sales on eBay as opposed to Poshmark. So that's kind of the other thing where I'm like, I'm already not making a whole lot of sales on Poshmark anymore. And for them to make more changes now, I don't want to say it doesn't affect me because it does. But I just see that as more of like a downward spiral trend for me in Poshmark um, going forward to where I'll make even less sales on Poshmark probably because people don't want to pay as much. Maybe that, that'll mean that more people are going to eBay to buy clothing and will buy from me. I don't freaking know. I do not have a crystal ball, but it's just more Poshmark shenanigans. And unfortunately, at the end of the day, if you sell on a platform that you don't own in any type of form then you're always at the mercy of that platform making changes. And that's kind of why I don't put all my eggs in one basket, because if I had just looking at my Poshmark sales for this two week period, I would have made a whole lot less than I actually did, which was already not great. So, um, I, I don't know. It's if, if nothing else, this is such an argument for, um, uh, cross listing your items, uh, unless you're at the point where you're just like, I, it's not worth it anymore to me to resell which I'm not going to lie, I have um, I struggle with that. I still enjoy a lot of the aspects of reselling, but it needs to be financially worth it to me to put in all this work. Obviously, that's kind of why we most of us are doing it, unless you're really just cleaning out your own house, um, which is also exhausting and frustrating. <laughs> but yeah, I, I definitely struggle with that a little bit. Um, and it, it may just be me not putting in as much effort as I used to. Uh, I source less, um, not just less frequently, but also I've been sourcing less items. So I have less to list. Uh, and if, if you don't really have stuff that you're excited to list, it's also a struggle to just stay on top of that. I've definitely experienced that lately just because I haven't been finding great stuff. I found good stuff. I find good bread and butter, but I hardly find any anything great and it's that really motivates me to keep going when I find something really great and then when it sells even more so because I'm very money motivated um it's just how I am so anyway um we'll chat about it more on another relist and relax so if you're a subscriber and you're watching this later thank you so much uh as well and if you're not a subscriber I mean, there's no harm in becoming one. You can check it out. You can watch some more videos. And then if you don't feel like committing to that subscribe button, then don't. That's totally fine. But I appreciate you guys being here. Um, I hope to see you soon on another live in a chat or for a pre-recorded video. Uh, I'm going to the bins tomorrow and hopefully I will have a good haul for you guys after that. If not, it'll, it'll be something else. We'll see. We'll just have a chitty chatty why reselling is frustrating me <laughs> type of video. So either way, look forward to that. Um, I'll see you guys soon. Bis bald. Tschüss. Two weeks later. Hello, 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 everyone. Welcome back to another Friday night What Sold Live, another Friday night sales report for my past two weeks of uh, sales on Poshmark, eBay, Macari, Depop, wherever people will buy things from me. Uh, if you're new here, hi, my name's Veronica, which if you're watching this live, you probably know this because you're a channel member. Thank you so much for being a channel member. I think I have a banner for you guys. I do.
do not have a banner yet. Ay, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm going to need to add a ticker for my lovely channel members. Let's do that right now. Thank you, channel members. Here we go. There's the ticker. Oh, interesting font. Didn't know I had that on there. Uh, still learning fun things about Restream as we go. Yeah, girl, you are first indeed. Hello, Kristen. See, now I remember I switched the font on this and played around with it two weeks ago for the What's Sold, but not for the Realist and Relax. And last What's Sold, nobody was in the chat, and I wasn't sure if I had messed it up and the chat was just not working, but turns out nobody was able to come, which is fine. Um, good to see you, my friend. Um, hope you're uh, not missing too much from uh, the Eras tour right now, but appreciate you being here. Even if it's on mute, it's fine. So, yeah, every other Friday I go over my sales. Um, last or two weeks ago, was pretty depressing. I did not have a lot to share. This week, it's um, not much better, but a little better. So let me pull this up over here. One thing I forgot to do last time was to give a wrap up um, for September. So once I finally edit that, what sold live into a video that will be in there, of course. Uh, anyway, it's just all been depressing. That's basically what sales have been, but soldiering on. So first sale in that two week period is that right that was the first one hold on one second nope it was not first we first sale in that two week period um from october 5th through the 18th um which is today was this timberland uh button down denim shirt this sold while i was running a sale on ebay which i think ended on the 14th, something like that. I forgot. <laughs> I put it in just to see uh, if anything will stick. And a few, I made a few sales. Um, so this sold on a sale that I was running on eBay for $14.30. Uh, my marketplace fees were $2.94. Uh, cost of goods was $1.70 from the bins. And uh, my profit for this one is $9.66. So not a super great sale, but you know, better than nothing. And then I had four full days of not making a sale. Whew, it's been bad. But then uh, I sold these Berkies. I'll uh, get you a better um, image of the logo in a second. These I just picked up from the bins. Uh, and I didn't film that particular bins haul because it was honestly pretty disappointing at the time because I could, I was there for two hours Decided it wasn't worth my time, went to another location, which is half an hour away. Um, picked up a few things there as well. But overall, I think I only spent like $34 between both of them and I had 15 items. It wasn't good for like being um, at the bins at two different locations for like four hours. So, But I did pick up these Birkenstock Birkies because I can usually flip them really quickly. And I did. Uh, I did accept an offer on Macari just because, again, four days of no sales. You know, what you're going to do? So the offer was $27. Um, I actually need to take out the marketplace fees for this one. And I'll tell you why in a second. Um, $27 and no fees, cost of goods was $2.30 and shipping was pricey, it was $11.35 um, because it went to God knows where. Uh, and I make a profit of $13.35, but again, it was a super quick flip, it sold within two days. Now, the reason why I took out the marketplace fees with Macari, there are no fees anymore. However, if you want to take out your money, you would need to pay at least $2 or $3, depending on how quickly you want it. And usually I split that between two or three sales and then just put in a dollar for each. However, with this item, I waited until I got paid um, for the sale, and then I actually purchased something on Macari, in which case they don't take any fees out of your earnings. So, you know, if you're a casual seller on Macari and you don't necessarily need the 20 bucks in your account, like I'm not saying keep them in there forever because Macari is not a bank. But if you know you're going to have to buy something in the near future, might as well keep it in there and then use it for that purchase. Um, I purchased a part of a costume for my kid for Halloween. Uh, and Macari is great for that kind of stuff because it's usually pretty cheap. And especially Halloween costumes, which they're going to wear like once or twice, depending on how many events you go to. And then it just sits around. So ask me how I know. I still have a few. All right, moving on. Uh, this pair of J brand jeans. I don't pick up J brand anymore. It's not, it, it, they don't sell, um, especially not a skinny jean. These, I accepted an offer 
or send an offer. No, I think I accepted an offer of $20 on Poshmark. I had a dollar into these from the bins, so that was quite all right with me. New Poshmark fees came out to $3.65. And regardless of how I feel about the fee structure itself, the one thing that really freaking annoys me is that when I put my sales price in Vendu, it used to calculate my fees for Poshmark for me because it was a flat 20%. No ifs, ands, and buts. Um, it, and it was the only platform left where it was able to do that. And now, with all of these changes, Vendu is not able to calculate. I mean, they probably are, but I, I don't honestly don't wouldn't blame them if they just don't want to put all that information in. Um, but also, they know they cannot calculate the actual fee because it depends on so many things, including where the buyer lives and taxes and such. So they can't actually calculate it, which is annoying. So now I need to go back to Poshmark, figure out what my fee was, put that in. Does it take a lot of time? No, but it's annoying because it's one extra thing and I have to do and that's bothering me. So long story short, my profit on these was $15.35 and I had these since 2022. Over two years, which uh, sounds about accurate for J-Brand. Don't, I don't pick it up anymore. Not even at the bins. If I find like a baggy J-Brand style, possibly, but skinny jeans, absolutely not. Another quick flip that I had from a previous bins haul that was, did I film this one? I think I filmed this one. I think this was my most recent one, uh, the Jules Fox sweater. Jules is a great uh, British brand um, that makes a lot of nice, cool, uh, sort of whimsical sweaters, including this one. And I recently sold one of theirs full price um, on eBay. This one didn't sell for full price, but somebody offered me 28 bucks. Again, I just picked that up, um, listed. It was listed for five days. I uh, took the $28 offer. Um, it sold on Poshmark and I make $21.97. So between this sale and the uh, Berkey's, was that the same? It may have been the same haul. It may not have been. I honestly, I don't know anymore. But either way, I, I made quick money. That's the point I'm trying to make. And then I made an eBay sale, uh, an offer I think I may have sent because it looks like one of those 20% off offers on this pair of American Eagle car slim leg cargo jogger pants. I don't, I mean, they, they were um, marked as a jegging, but then they also have the cargo side pockets. I don't know. These pants don't know what they want to be, but they sold. I uh, had $1.94 into these. I picked them up back in August from the bins. Uh, and I make a profit of $12.55. I've said this before. Uh, American Eagle, their jeans have slowed down a lot for me. Their dresses and tops don't sell at all. Never have. But they're like non jean pants have been doing okay for me. I have another one coming up here in a few minutes. All right, then I sold a pair of new Tech Craft and Barrel pants for the second time. Not sure if you guys remember, probably not, because why would you care about, you know, my sales more so, you know, beyond just hanging out here and listening to me ramble. These Craft and Barrel pants sold before, but I listed them as blue when they are in fact black, which Honestly, they look blue in this picture, but when I was getting them ready to ship, I'm like, they're black. And maybe they're one of those like weird sort of not shape shifting, but color cover, color shifting pant that looks like a different color in uh, each lighting. Anyway, long story short, they sold again for full price, 20 bucks. Not sure if it was to the uh, same person that bought them initially and I had to cancel the sale because they never got back to me. And I was like, hey, I just want to make sure you still want them if they're not blue. And they didn't respond. So I canceled because I didn't want to send them and then get a... I am not as described bullshit situation. Dollar fifty into these from the bins, had them since April, and I make a profit of fourteen dollars and fifty six cents. Okay. Oh, my best sale of this two week period. Okay, so these, this, um, wow, speaking is hard. This poncho jacket number came from the same bin saw that I didn't film. That was not great overall, or so I thought at the time. This item, though was the bomb.com and i know we don't say that anymore but it's a so let me show you first it's a new tag wool um 
it has a poncho cut but has buttons and like an attached scarf so the scarf doesn't come off unless you cut it off uh and it's still with tags and i saw this in the bins and i saw this tag um avoca hand weavers and at first i was like that sounds like some cheap chinese brand but let's check it out uh open it up turn it over i'm like oh it says ireland and it says 147 dollars and 74 174 dollars so irish like wool and knit and woven stuff i know i don't know a lot about it but i know it can do really well um here's the tag on the inside in case you want to commit it to memory honestly anytime you see something with wool and ireland i would look it up um i did not look this up while i was at the bins i was just like i i'm i have two dollars into this i'm just gonna pick it up and see what happens um but it did have a new price tag on it uh and I was actually pleasantly surprised to see the resale value on these items, uh, which is quite good. So I listed it for 120. It was listed for a little over a week and somebody offered me 75 on eBay, which is a pretty huge percentage off. However, I also didn't have any exact comps for this exact style. And also, I haven't been selling a ton of stuff. And again, this I had just picked up, I had photographed it. I had two bucks into it. I was like, you know what? I'm going to accept that $75 offer, send this on its way and make a profit of uh, $62.17. 17 Who the numbers? There's only so much I can do editing this later, but <laughs> all right. Uh, $62 and 17 cents. And that definitely paid for the, the haul that I didn't share. Uh, and then some that, that is double what I paid for the haul. So very almost um very happy with that sale especially because it's so fast perfect season to pick this up um so yeah if you see anything like irish wool numbers um you know pick it up especially from the bins especially new attack from the bins yeah uh, next up we got also a new attack rachel zoe a little sweater short sleeve turtleneck sweater i actually purchased this for myself um on like a tj maxx clearance it was i i tossed it into my cart and ordered it with a bunch of other stuff i never actually wore it that's why it's no tags um but i did put my cost of goods at zero because i bought this like two years ago it was just sitting in my closet I don't know how much I paid for it. Did I make any money actually on it? Probably not. Uh, it sold for 17 on Poshmark. Somebody offered me, Poshmark, yes. Somebody offered me that. And uh, I make $13.54, probably. Again, don't remember what I had into these. Another Poshmark sale, also on an offer I received on these Patagonia men's pants. I did pick these up from a regular thrift store, so I had four bucks into these. And I had them listed before, um, before relisting them. And I think I had them listed for 38. Somebody sent me an offer on Poshmark that was, I think it was lower than 20. It was the same guy who eventually bought them. And I either countered or declined. Um, and then I relisted them and the same guy comes back in, sends me a $20 offer. And uh, again, I don't remember if that was better or the same as previously sent, but at that point I was just like, yeah. I've had them for seven months. Yes. So uh, $20 on these. I make a profit of $12.33, which is not great for Patagonia, but also Patagonia pants tend to not do that well. So I wasn't too upset. Uh, then I made another great sale, actually, on Macari, believe it or not, a full price sale on Macari. Now shipping was a bummer on this one. Uh, and as you may know, I don't charge for shipping on Macari. I usually bake it into the purchase price, but it's free to the buyer. Um, they pay whatever marketplace fees Macari charges them, uh, but I don't charge them extra shipping. So this, let me show you the item first. Um, very beautiful, if I may say so. A mossy green corduroy blazer from The Gap. Uh, came from the bins, I'm pretty sure. Yes, $1.40 into this one. Sold on a card for 45 bucks. No fees except for that $1 that uh, I pay when I take my money out. Um, shipping expense on this one was $9.02. Not happy about that, but uh, it was a full price sale on Macari, which is rare. And so I make $33.58. And this one I relisted several times. It always got a lot of interest. It's a really cute piece. So for it to actually sell, um, 
for it to actually sell for full price, it's uh, it's pretty, pretty good. All right, non-corduroy pants, uh, but also from my own closet-ish. Did I put, yeah, I put a cost of goods in. So these um, Gap button front jeans came from ThreadUp and I'd ordered them on one of their crazy sales with a bunch of other stuff for myself. Some items I kept, some items didn't fit and I listed them. These I kept in my closet for a while and then I think they did fit, they just didn't look the way on me that I wanted them to look. And here's why, because there are a skinny, skinny jean. And your girl, I mean, I'm a millennial, but I don't love skinny jeans, I really don't. Uh, so they sold on Poshmark for $17. Um, Again, I had a sale earlier on Poshmark for $17 and the fee was like $364 or something like that or $346. This one was $350. It's going to be different for each person you sell to uh, unless they live in the same state with the same taxes. So that's annoying. Uh, cost of goods was 5 bucks on ThreadUp on their sale. I make a profit of $8.50, but it's something that was sitting in my closet. And for some reason, I didn't send back to ThreadUp, but decided to list myself. Then I sold some Carhartt jeans, also not for a ton, but it was also an offer I received on eBay, and we're currently in the business of just moving stuff out as quickly as we can. These sold for $26 on eBay. Um, my cost of goods was $1.80 from the bins, and I make a profit of $19.20. They were the relaxed fit. Um, 30 by 30, I would say, is like a smaller size for a men's size. Um, most of my men's clothing sells better slash quicker if it's a larger size than that okay two more sales uh actually they're a little bit out of order because i just put in the correct shipping cost for the old navy pants so we're gonna go with these first these last two sales are my two beep d beep 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 bob mm -hmm. yeah. okay it's a good thing we can edit this later and my members hopefully all understand that i'm a hot mess and you're still here these sold on depop I made two Depop sales this week is what I'm trying to say, which is so funny. Again, Depop, I make like two sales a month on average. I actually looked through my sales um, so far this year and it's like two a month on average. And they usually come pretty close together. So I don't know what kind of magic that is. Uh, so this Depop sale, I sold these Old Navy jogger um, style, but very smooth legging fabric pants in this light beigey zebra pattern oh freaking no um they're the power soft which i really like to pick up uh panned these came from the bins uh they sold for 18 on depop and just like makari i don't charge for shipping i bake it into my price usually this was a little bit lower than i wanted it to be but it was fine it didn't it was pretty lightweight um depop doesn't charge selling fees but they charge transaction fees and that's the dollar uh oh seven here so uh after all of that and the shipping cost i still make 10 bucks and 28 cents and for old navy uh leggings that are not a plus size and not new with tags are um that that's a good sale i'm happy with that i have gone on record several times saying that i do pick up old navy selectively and it does sell and it makes me money so you know i wouldn't pick up old as raggedy old navy t-shirts that are basically see-through but their recent active wear it's really all of their recent clothing it's been pretty good i really like it myself Kristen, i'll play the video in a second okay so you got something to giggle all right and then one more sale on depop now the one thing with this is uh i don't have an accurate shipping expense in there yet because this sold today and i was lazy and it shipped it yet just, I couldn't be bothered. <laughs> um, so I will update that as needed. It's, the shipping expense is probably going to be a little bit higher. Um, but these American Eagle corduroy pants uh, <sighs> sold on Depop for $25. That was also an offer, I believe, I accepted or sent to them. They're super high-res flare. And they were in, like, pristine condition. I don't think they had ever been worn. They still had... I don't think you can see it. I think they still had, like, a little bit of that... that white string that the price tag is attached to um on jeans on them i don't know really cute style uh they were a size ba, 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 eight and these sold for 25 on depop the transaction fee was a dollar 32 cost of goods was a dollar 50 shipping probably a little bit more than 5.99 i think it's going somewhere midwestern i don't know if it's if it's gonna go through for six ish dollars or gonna be more we'll see I will update that accordingly, but profit is around $16.19, maybe a little bit less, but 
totally fine either way. Uh, it's not going to be super expensive to ship these. Worst comes to worst, it's going to be a, a priority mail flat rate situation. And it's like eight hundred bucks, so not worried about that. Hello, Dodo. Good to see you, my friend. Hello, hello. Oh yeah, plus a corduroy jacket. Yeah, so two corduroy pants, one corduroy jacket. The corduroy, y'all. I mean, it's uh, maybe making a comeback. I don't know. Okay, well, let's look at my analytics. Not these. Oh, yeah. Here are my uh, September sales. My God, it's depressing. Um, so the profit was pretty shitty. <laughs> and if we're going to continue on this trajectory, uh, then my October sales-wise is going to be just as sad as my September uh, I haven't been super consistent with listing. Um, I try to run at least some relists if I'm not listing, but haven't really been super motivated. Uh, and if you feel the same, then, you know, drop that in the comments. And if you're watching this later, hit the like button for that, <laughs> for lack of motivation. And maybe it'll motivate me and you, I don't know. But yeah, do let me know in the comments how things are going for you. Um, like I said earlier, I did make a few more sales. I sold more items um, and I had some really good sales in there. So that's also nice. But my total revenue for this two week period was $370.50. Total profit, $263.23, give or take, because I don't know what the shipping on that last Depop sale is going to be exactly uh, just yet. Uh, I sold 14 items. I listed 20 new items, apparently. Feels like I didn't do that. But yeah, over a 14-day period, that's like one and a third, 1.3 items-ish a day. It's not a lot. But again, in the previous two-week period, I only listed nine. Um, so there's that. And I did a relist. So uh, some of these sales definitely came after a relist. Average sales price went up thanks to the uh, Irish wool situation and the Gap blazer. Who would have thunk it? A Gap blazer bringing up the uh, average sales price, you know? Surprise, surprise. Um, so as you can see, my distribution is a little bit more even for this two-week period because Macari and uh, Depop came through a little bit more. <sighs> Poshmark's just kind of existing right now. Let's see. 27%. Macari 17. Depop 10. So yeah, eBay is doing the heavy lifting right now. So um, that's to do with that what you will. I think overall... Um, for me, I'll, I'll keep listing on multiple platforms. Nope, that's not the button I wanted to click. Here we go. I will keep listing on multiple platforms. I'm uh, not catering to any specific platform, but I'm definitely at the point where I'm like uh, thinking about you know, keeping eBay more in mind than Poshmark, if that makes sense, and picking up items that I think will do okay on eBay and probably not sell on Poshmark. Just because Poshmark, with their shenanigans, you just, you never know what you're going to get. And now they're back paddling on the fees and it's just, <laughs> it's such a mess. Now, what we're going to do next, I'm going to play the video for Glamour Super Chat. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Here she is. Um, and But I'm playing it for Kristen because uh, Kristen wanted to see it and Glamour didn't. So I'll play it anyway. I thank you very much. Well, thank you very much. Thank you, and have a nice day. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, brother. Well, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Why, thank you for supporting Veronica Mitka. <laughs> the world. Thank you, Glamour, for your support. And thank you, Dodo and Kristen, for being here and your support. Appreciate you all. Appreciate you being members. Ta-da! I figured it out. So, yeah, the sales may be slow, but the membership is strong with this one. I do have a bins haul filmed, uh, and I'm currently uh, listing items from that bins haul that I will pop up soon on my channel obviously and then i have a thread up unboxing also that uh, is filmed but needs to be edited and that will go up soon so look forward to both of those um yeah and hopefully after tomorrow another bins haul see if not i'll find something else to film it's uh there's just always something 
All right, friends, on that note, I will catch you all later. Thank you so much for being here, uh, for all your support. Um, if you're watching this later, thank you for watching. Hit the like button, do all the things. Subscribe if you're not already. Uh, also, if you know anyone who might enjoy this channel, maybe share it with them, because your girl's trying to get to 1,500 subs by the end of the year. Very casually, we're not making a big deal about it, but if if I could hit that, tiny milestone that would be lovely so if you want to share it with somebody i would uh, appreciate that all right friends i will let you all go i will see you soon in another life or in another video bis bald tschüss Mwah.